Welcome to our homeschool. I will be showing you today how to do a Sadler from Phonics to Reading lesson. I'm here with my eight-year-old daughter and we are on level B doing lesson 11 day three. Now we started in the fall, but since I homeschool and I travel a lot in the fall, we were doing a lot of traveling and we were doing also a lot of other type of learning. So now we are getting back on track, making sure that we do our lessons every day. We've been doing them every day in the morning for the past couple of weeks. And so I'm just gonna show you what I do. I had both of my daughters working together on the blue book, but I decided that wasn't working out for us. And so now I work with a Piwe on the blue book, a Mache on the green book. So I'll do her lesson after this. While I'm doing this lesson with a Piwe, Amashle was doing her artwork and now she's finished because I was setting up the camera and doing all sorts of other stuff, getting ready for you guys. And so she's working on her writing. Sit up a P.Y. please. So I'm not going to talk to the camera much. I'm just going to show you all how we do it. So if you're following along with me, I'm on page 117. Ready? Yeah. Come on. Esplins, read them. Oh, <laughs> good. Final E. E. I mean, A. E. I. O. U. A. E. I. O. U. Ah. Um. Uh. Ng. Ng. That's right. Sometimes this does say E, but when it's short, it says eh. eh. Very good. B. B. K. J. F. G. P. Good, make sure you're not saying bruh. 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 Say it fast, bruh. bruh. Good. Bruh, 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 bruh. Shh. Shh. Long A. A, 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 A. Good. Spell the long A as an eight. A, E. Oh wait, A, line E. No, oh, you're right, but not that type of eight, the number eight. Oh. Which one is the number eight? This one. Spell it. E-I-G-H-T. Good. So this process should take about five minutes to go through all of the sound. It took us a little bit longer today because I was explaining some things to my daughter because we were coming off a weekend and a long break and I wanted to make sure that she knew where to use each sound. Okay, good. Only sometimes is it is long E E I. Very okay. rarely. Very rarely. <laughs> Very rarely. Okay. These syllables end in a vowel, right? Yeah. The vowel sound is usually at the beginning. At the beginning. No. Oh, the vowel sound is usually open. And what is so it's what? How do we say it? Is it short or long? Oh, it's long. It's, it's really long. long. Like tiger pilot. or pilot. Mm. Good. As opposed to closed syllables, take a look. These syllables end in a consonant. So instead of saying like this, like R A B I T, it's R A B B I T. Huh? Wasn't it just pilot? And, uh, I flipped it to the uh, other side. <laughs> the vowel is closed in by the consonant. The vowel sound is usually um, short. Short rabbit this example is kitten kitten okay that's open syllable versus closed syllable syllables here will tell you if you say the vowel long or short okay i can't wait to learn i'm glad you can't wait to learn okay final e syllable ready stand up i do this a little part a little bit different spelling b time ready first word is don't don't do that. D O A apostrophe T. Correct. Next word is wood. Would you be my friend? W O L W O U L D. Correct. The next word is off. Get off the o -F -F. couch. Out. O wait. Get out of here. Oh. O U T. More. May I have some more? M O I E. Correct. Sit down. We're gonna move on because she knows those words. We don't have to spend five minutes on that. So we spend a little bit more time on one, and we're gonna spend a little bit less time on two. Word, sort, okay. So right here. Yeah, so we were supposed to sort these out. We have the letters, the letter cards here. 
And I want you just to sort these words in whatever word way you want to. Go ahead. <laughs> whatever way you see to sort them, sort them out. Let's see these. Yeah. Okay, how did you sort them? Find the things I like. The things you like? So what are these two? Limit. Limit. And motor. Okay, so are those things you like or dislike? Dislike. Dislike, okay, and these are the things you like? Yes, because I don't like um, limits on my eye. Let's find another way to sort them. Mm. Alright, and how is this sorted? Things that are alive and not alive. Nice. So you're thinking about science, huh? Yeah, alive versus not alive. Very nice. But this nice. was once alive. It, it sure if was. If it was made out of wood. That's all right. Now let's think about, let's look at the words themselves and kind okay. of think about, you know, the, the letters and the sounds and the syllables and everything that makes up the words, the property of the words themselves, and how would you sort them? Okay, and how is this sorted? These ones are longs, motor, cozy, photo, baby, tiger, pony, talent. And these are what? Limit. Oh, these ones are sort of panic, cabin. Okay, so these are long vowels, you're saying? Long, um, what are they? Long, um. The things you are just learning right Open now. syllables? Yes, open syllables. Oh, so these, these are, are open, closed. you're saying? Okay, let's yes. see if that's right. So if it's an open syllable, you're right. It will have that long vowel sound. So motor, two syllables. The first syllable, M-O. Yes, motor, correct? Cozy. Photo. Baby. Tiger. Pony. Okay. Talent. Limit, panic, cabin. Good. So the, the reason why, oops, why these over here are closed is because it's like, we don't, we're not saying L-I, like limit, we're saying lim, that syllable, limit. Good. All right. Um, I think this is a good way to sort them. So you already did this and you already put it in your book. Now... Flip them over on the other side. Oh, oh I love doing So this. that's good I that love you, making words. you love making words good. Sometimes I make words that don't make sense at all. Awesome. The next word. Hazy. Hazy. Oh, what does that mean? Hazy is like, um... Heady. No, hazy is more like... You're lazy, but excited. No, hazy is more like when you look outside and it looks like the clouds are low, you'll say, oh, it's kind of hazy outside. Huh. Yeah, it's like unclear. Foggy. Yeah, almost foggy. Right. right. Okay. So now, hold on. What, let's As we first... We need to read each syllable, and I want you to tell me what you notice about each syllable, okay? What's this syllable? Tie, open. Open, very good. I love how you automatically said that, right? It's an open syllable. How do you know? Because I, and it says its name. How do you know this, does, this isn't? Its name. Why does it say its name? Because it's an open syllable. What does that mean? Um, that means it's, that means it's, that means. In comparison to this one, what does this say? Sick. How do you know that says sick and not Be psych? Because it is, isn't is blocked by its, mm -hmm. its... You're right. You're on the right track. It is... It is blocked by not a vowel. Well, so you have... C is blocking or closing in the I. S and C are closing in the I. That's why it's a closed syllable. And so when the syllable is closed in, it's a short 
Okay. But when the syllable is, I mean, when the syllable, when the vowel is closed in. Free. But when the vowel is free, then it's long. It can say its name. Tie! Yes. It says, yes, I'm open. I'm open. I can say my name. I. Oh, I'm closed in here. I say the short sound. Eh. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Sick tie. Very good. I love how you're automatically sorting that. Okay, let's read the rest. Okay. okay. Alright, so again, let's build some more words. Ready? Yes. Lady. Oh, this is good. Lady. Where's Lay? And where's D? Lady. Very good. And I love that you're writing them down, P Way. Good job. And now, actually, what you can do is go to page 118 in your book, build the words, and write them. So I want you to build as many words as you can and then write them up here. Go ahead. What's the first one you got? Baby. Oh, wait, no. Let me see it. Where's B? Uh, B. Ah! <laughs> Baby. Very good. That mm. is a D. Oh, that is a D. Well, let's make it a B. Just like this. Which you can see right there. Is this twin or something? Can you make basic? Bay and we're sick. Very good. Sick is a closed syllable, correct? Yes. How is sick a closed syllable again? Because it's closed in by the S and the C. What's closed in? The I vowel. Mm -hmm. It's right. closed in by the S and the C. So it can't be free to say its long name. That's right. So when you come across a big word that you don't know, and it has a closed a vowel that's closed in by two consonants, you can try to first read it as the short vowel sound. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a longer lesson for us today. Day three is what? 10, mm -hmm. 25 minutes long. Taking a bit about that same time. So that's it. Our lesson is actually finished. That's the end of the lesson for today. Mm -mm. After she continues to make some words. Um. Huh. I finished. Wow. Oh, yeah. I can't wait till you come to my table. <laughs> Good. So that's it. That's the end of our lesson. Rather than just say, okay, finish this on your own, I think it's actually faster and more efficient to sit with them and encourage them to work quickly. I find that with a group, kids tend to work more quickly. Um, so with us as individuals, we just have to encourage that quickness in a positive way. Okay, see, because right now what we're doing is we're lining up all of the the syllables and playing instead of finishing our work. So, um, and that's because I got up and I started messing with the camera. So then the focus is like, okay, well, no one's watching me. I'm gonna do whatever. Okay, how about try making, did you make tiger? Yes. Lady? Yes. Lazy? Yeah, no. Oh wait, did I? Yes. Lazy? Tidy, how about tidy? Okay. And then after that, after this work is done, then you can do some more experimenting or whatever. So yeah. that's the end of the lesson. They're pretty short, um, especially in the beginning or if kids are feeling tired, I would not push on to two lessons. For example, right now, the reason I'm not going to push on and do two lessons is because we've been actually sitting in this spot for a while as I set up the camera and do other things. So I have to recognize that even though I feel like, okay, we could just go on to the next day, the child may not necessarily feel that way. Um, so I have to use my best judgment. We're not going to go on. I'm also not going to send her off to do more work right now. What I would normally do, I have this, I have this composition notebook and I would normally have her get started writing a story with these words um, but I'm going to have her do art first so we can kind of break up 
you know, break it up mentally. So it's not all like reading, 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 reading for okay, an hour yeah. straight. So we're gonna do, we've just done this reading lesson for the past 20, 25 minutes. She's going to move over to the next section where Amashle just was and she's going to do that art project. You can just restart that video and go ahead, get started on your art. Amashle's turn. Where's I'm gonna clean this up for you. You're supposed to keep these little letter cards, especially if you're in the red or yellow book. 